best season right now, you're watching my 1 through 99 cooking guide. I made this just for you guys, so if you could do me the favor of subscribing and liking this video, I'd appreciate it a lot. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys where to cook from 1 to 99. This place is okay in Alcrad, but I don't really recommend it. You start here in the bank, and you just run up here to the range. Alright, so you start here in the Alcrad bank. You go to your bank, get your stuff, and you run over here to the range. Cook your fish right here. And then you run back to the bank. This is probably the best spot for non-members to do. And then you just keep doing this over and over. Alright, so this is the second spot I'm going to be showing you guys right here in Catherby. Um, what you want to do is you're going to want to start at the bank right here. Run east on this road into the cooking range. Okay, so you guys... You're going to want to start here at the bank, get out your fish, run over to the cooking range, cook your fish, run back, and then just do it over again. Okay, the third place I'm going to be showing you guys is the cooking guild. It is southwest of the Grand Exchange, and this is one of the best places to train. The reason why it's so good is because of the short distance between the bank and the cooking range. But the downside is, you need to do the hard Varag achievements, I believe. And if you can't, if you didn't do those, then you can't get in. Alright, you guys, so the pla last place I'm going to show you guys is the place I got from 1 to 99 cooking. It's the Thieving Den. And the way you get there is the Relva Games Necklace. And teleport the Birth of Troll Invasion. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to want to run this way. Until you see a bar. Once you get to the bar, you have to open the door. And go down the trap door in the corner. Once you're in here, the fire is right through here. And this is where you guys are going to want to be cooking. Alright, so from level 1 to 5, you're going to be wanting to cooking raw sardines. They give you, or you're going to want to cook about 78 of them. And they're about 52 to 55k XP an hour. Okay, so from level 5 to 20, you're going to want to be cooking raw herrings. These give you 50 XP each. You're going to need 82 get from level 5 to 20 and they also give around 52 to 55k an hour okay the next thing you're going to be cooking is raw salmon you're going to want to cook this from level 20 to 45 these give 90 experience each you're going to need approximately 634 of them yeah, you're going to do that to level 45. These give around 93 to 99k XP an hour. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you guys about cooking gauntlets. Cooking gauntlets are obtained by doing the family crest quest. They are useful and I would certainly advise them once you get to level 45. Cooking gauntlets reduce the chance of burning tuna, lobster, swordfish, and shark. Once you get your cooking gauntlets, level 45 to 75 you're gonna want to cook raw tuna these give you about a hundred these gives you 100 XP each you're gonna want to do them to level 75 you're gonna need to cook 11,489 of them they give roughly 104 to 110 K XP per hour all right from level 75 to 92 you're gonna want to cook raw lobsters these give you 120 XP each. You're going to want to cook 44,222 of them to level 92. They give roughly 151 to 156k XP an hour. Once you're at 92 cooking, 
You're gonna wanna cook raw monkfish to level 95. Raw monkfish give you about 150 XP each. You're gonna need to cook 15,000 monkfish to level 95. They will give you around 93 to 99k XP an hour. Okay, once you hit 95 cooking, you're gonna wanna cook raw sharks to level nine, all the way to level 99. Sharks give 210 XP each, and you'll need to cook 20,299 of them. You can actually make a profit off sharks, depending on what the prices are. I think I made around 2 mil when I got 99 cooking. They'll give you around 264 to 273k XP an hour. Once you hit level 99 cooking, you're going to want to head over to the master, the head chef in the cooking guild located southwest of the Grand Exchange. Then all you have to do is talk to him and he'll give you your cooking cape. Congratulations. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped. If you can please do me a favor, um, comment, subscribe, and like this video. I'll really, really appreciate it. Thank you.